I noticed lately that I'm starting to get a lot of questions and comments and everything on some of my oldest videos that I have done on my YouTube channel. And so today we're going to start, since it's a brand new year, 2021 is here, we're going to start a little video series, Back to Basics, and cover some Back to Basics stuff from years past. Okay? And today we're going to be talking about canned goods. Now, I'm going to be answering a lot of questions on canned goods, what to look for, and best buy dates, the whole nine yards. Now, one thing you also have to remember is the best buy date is the date that the manufacturer states that the product is good for. You also want to make sure that you are checking your cans and making sure that you're not buying anything that is dent, rusted, dirty, bulging, anything like that. Don't buy it. You want to try to make sure that you're looking at the shelves and that you're paying attention to the dates. Check some of the cans in the back and this way here you can ensure that you're getting the longest Best Buy date and you're getting the biggest bang for your buck because it will typically last longer. Now you can also turn around and you can search out all your different sales and different stores that run different types of sales. Some stores run like these big canned goods sales, um, case sales, um, all that type of stuff. You have to do your homework. Key is you have to do your homework. I can't do your homework for you. You have to do it because in every different part of this country, in this world, everybody has different types of stores. So it would be literally impossible for me to try to come up with a list of all the local grocery stores in your area to give you an idea of what is on sale. Easiest way to do that is, if you have a computer or a smartphone, is to go in and set up a file and call it your food stores, shopping, whatever you choose, and put all your favorite places that you like to shop in there. Save them in a bookmark. This way here, every week you can go on, you can click that little link, and it will tell you what the Weekly ads are, sometimes they give you a sneak peek and you can see what's coming on the next week also. And this way here you can make a determination on where you need to go, where what you need to buy, and what is going to be the best deal. Furthermore, on that, all right, when you are buying your cans and your canned goods and all that type of stuff, make sure that you have some place to store your canned goods. Make sure that you store them in a cool, dry place. Do not store your canned goods in your garage, your attic, anywhere where it is hot because you will eventually kill the product even before the Best Buy date. The product does not like heat or light, okay? Or moisture for that matter. So you have to make sure that you follow the three rules. Cool, dry, place. You wanna make sure that you have a pantry Maybe you have a spare room, spare closet, any of those type of things. You can also go out and buy the small little totes that slide right underneath your bed and you can put your canned goods and stuff in there and slide them underneath your bed and nobody knows they're there. They're kind of concealed, put away, and you have them in a cool, dry place. Something else that you don't want to forget is when you're storing your products, you want to make sure that you're storing them and rotating them properly so that the oldest is in the front and the newest is in the back. Yes, sometimes this can be a pain in the neck, but you know what? It'll save you in the long run. So make sure that you're rotating your stock and paying attention when you do this to what the cans look like because it's a good time to take a look and see what they're doing. Maybe they're coming to life. So, not to keep you waiting any longer, let's get going on some of these cans that we see here. Now, first off, let's just talk about cans in general, okay? Now, nowadays, there's a few different types of cans that you can get. You can get the cans that are solid on both ends which require a can opener. And if it's an emergency situation, make sure that it's a manual can opener, not electric. 
Second, we have cans with the pull top. Now the pull top makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? And it takes it, you know, you can just take and pop this top and you can access your product one, two, three, very easily. Problem, the seal on the top of these is not as strong as the seal on a regular can. So if something was to happen, you drop this can, another can fell on top of this can, or anything like that, it may take and break that seal in one or two small little areas and you're not even aware of it and will cause your product to go bad. Now, there's also the old style when you buy cans like these that have the pin. And you have to take this pin and you just keep twisting this thing around and it will open. So it has a self-opening pen right here that's attached to the product when you buy it. You do not need a, quote, can opener or anything like that. You just peel this key and you will be able to access your product one, two, three. Problem being with that again is, in the same situation as this, is if something happens and you hit this or it drops anything like that, along that seal, it could break. Not that it would, but it could. Unlike if you just have a solid top sealed can. Now, next, if for some reason that you do notice that you have a can that has started to bulge, which is increase in size, like it's going to explode like an atom bomb, if the can is starting to rust really bad on, on either end or even on the sides, the can is no good. If when you're buying your cans, you also want to make sure that you are purchasing the cans that are dent free, rust free, dirt free, and are in good quality conditions to maximize your shelf life of your hard-earned money that you are spending to make sure that you and your family have food to eat in case of an emergency situation. Now, let's talk about the dates. The best buy date on the bottom of any can out there or any product that you use is the best buy date that the manufacturer states that the said products in these cans will be good and they guarantee the freshness up till that date. Now you ask, well, does that mean at that date I have to throw this out? Well, no you do not. If you store your products in a cool, dry place, keywords here, cool, dry, and place, you can maximize the shelf life of all these products, of any product that you have in your emergency supplies. Now, reason being is, you store it in a cool place, bacteria doesn't like cool. You store it in a hot place, say your garage, attic, something like that, all right? The bacteria is going to love you and is going to just basically germinate. And the next thing you know, everything is gonna start going bad. You will have cans that are start bulging and everything else. And if you don't notice it and they blow, well, let's just say you're gonna have one heck of a mess. So avoid that situation and make sure that you store all your stuff in a cool, dry place to maximize your money. Now, you ask, how long can I wait until after the Best Buy date? Will the products be good? Well, let's just take, for instance, everybody's favorite, Spam. Now. You can go on YouTube, you can research videos and everything else, and you can see where they have opened a can of Spam older than 15, 20 years, and it still passes the test of it's edible. 
Now, is that something that I would really like to try? Well, hell no. But think about it. It's a great thing. So more than likely, as long as you're, you can smell and taste and see if you have a can of something and say you notice that it is, let's just use five years past the best buy date. The can looks really good. Oh, there's no bulging. Seals really good. No rust, no dirt. Still sounds like it's supposed to. Well, what do you do next? Well, okay, you just passed the eye test. Now, we have to go to the smell test, which means you have to take a step of faith and open up your can. And once you open up the can, smell it. If it smells like, oh, I don't know, the trash can that's been sitting outside in the heat because the trash company didn't pick it up for the last week or so, and you open it up and it smells like that, well, at that point, cut your losses and don't go to the following step. But if you've passed the eye test, you open up the can and it passed the smell test, you're like, hey, that still smells really good. The third test is the taste test. Now, hopefully, you're buying products that you're familiar with and you know what they should taste like. So now, you have to take another leap of faith. You have to get yourself a spoon, fork, a spork, whatever it is. And you have to take and take a taste. Now, when you taste it, if it tastes like it's supposed to taste, well, you just got yourself a meal and it's over five years past the Best Buy date. If you take that taste and it tastes like something that you don't think it's supposed to taste like, well, cut your losses, throw it in a trash can and hit the next can and see what happens. Because you do not want to get any type of um, botulism, you know, any type of disease that could be living in this can, you don't want it in your, your belly. You don't want to get sick because if it's an emergency situation or what happens, you can't get to a doctor or something like that. This is all things you have to take in consideration. So my suggestion is the eyesight test. Check the can. The smell test. Smell the product. Smells good. And the final test, the taste test. And this way here, you're going to tell if these products are really good. So, that's a little bit about all types of the cans. Now, let's run through some of these real quick and give you some dates. All right, because I know that all you've got a busy life and you want to get going and you just don't want to watch my video anymore. But, hey, hold on, because I'm going to show you these products have some pretty good shelf dates, even if you just bought them today. And they're going to last you for quite a while. So you're getting quite a bit of food for your money that's going to last for quite a while. And always make sure, always make sure that you are buying products that you and your family are going to use and eat and like. Because this way here, it's not a waste of your money. As I always said in my, my videos, I would suggest people buy 90% of anything that you love. And the other 10%, well, that would probably consider this, would be of something you would only eat in an emergency situation as a last resort. So let's get going on this. Corn, look at this. This is good till August 2024. Green beans, well, everybody likes green beans, right? And this is good until August of 2024. Whole potatoes, you can get them whole, sliced, diced, however you want them. I mean, these things are great, all right? They're already pre-cooked. Basically, you just got to heat them up a little bit. One suggestion I would suggest with the good old potatoes here, strain them first. Put them in a strainer, rinse them off with cold water for a minute or so, let them dry, and next thing you know, they're really good if you fry them. All right, you can smash them up, make mashed potatoes, whatever else. Best buy date on this product right here is December of 2023. Moving on down the line. 
these two hams right here. When you go to the grocery store, make sure that you are checking around and making sure that you are paying attention to what's going on. The DAC ham is actually $1.50 more than the Goya ham. Okay? Now, they're both a 16 ounce, one pound ham. This one is good until best before uh, May of 2024. Alright? I bought these two at the same time so I could show you this. And this one is good until June of 2025. Now I bought them at the same exact time at the store. They're the same ham, two different companies, two different makes, same weight, one pound. This one is less money and lasts a little over a year longer by the best buy date. So always make sure that when you're buying this stuff, people, that you're checking the best buy dates on the bottom of the cans because some stores, depending on what kind of store it is and where you are located, you may be getting some of the older product. And if that's the case, always take your hand and put it in the back and grab one of those cans and pull it out and see what the date is. And if the date is two or three years more than what the can in the front is, well, it's time to start going digging and get those cans in the back. Moving on down the line right here, you got Denty Moore, all right? Beef stew. Everything you need, right? You got meat, potatoes, and carrots. All in a nice little gravy. Comes in a nice little container with a pull top. All right? We talked about the pull tops, but, you know, comes with a little pull top. Best by date. Well, look at that. November of 2024. Corned beef hash. Everybody's favorite in America. What would life be without corned beef hash? Okay? With the amount of sodium that is in this one can right here, you probably could kill a horse. That's why it lasts for so long. All right, the best buy date on this can here is April of 2025. Hormel chili, all right, with beans. Hey, there you go. Everything you need, one little can. All right, <clears throat> best buy date is September of 2023. Spam, well, that stuff just lasts forever. So you can just go ahead and, you know. I know if you don't like spam or whatever else, but if you store this stuff right, I mean, come on, it's just going to last. Yeah, I'm not even going to go with the date. Fully cooked, great value, corned beef. All right, now this is, this is really good. All right, it's got a best buy date of July of 2024. Another great one. All right, now a lot of people... You don't like meat products and everything else? Let's do the last couple meat ones right here. Actually, we'll leave. I nah, will just do them both. All right. Roast beef. All right. This is a roast beef fully cooked. And a fully cooked great value pulled pork and barbecue sauce. All right. You can buy these right at Walmart when they do have them available. And this is Best Buy of July of 23. And the good old pork pork is Best Buy of September of 23. All right, now let's move on to something real hell right here. Now, not everybody likes meat and everything else, so if you do not and you like fish or chicken, something along that line, let's start with the pink salmon. All right, this can of pink salmon right here, it has a very, very long shelf life to begin with. Well, Best Buy date, I should say. And if you take this, pour it into a bowl, strain it first, get the liquid out, pour it into a bowl, mix in some breadcrumbs, and fry it in a pan with a little butter. Delicious. All right. Best buy date on this right here is January of 2025. That's on pink salmon. That's pretty good. Sardines. Not everybody likes sardines, but you know what? In a pinch, if you're hungry, sardines is pretty good. Compact. Throw it in your backpack. Um, you put it in your pocket. It's They're small, easy to carry, and they have a Best Buy date of 2025. Tuna fish. Now, this is probably one of the most used products in the canned good world as far as fish. Okay? Tuna fish is, you can get it solid white, you can get chunk light, you, however you want. Okay? You can get it in water, you can get it in oil. Whatever your preference is, I like water, but whatever your preference is, that's what you buy, okay? Best buy date, May of 2024. Chicken. Now you can get this in a lot of different ways too. You can get the chunk chicken breast, you can get a barbie, uh, one that's like barbecued, 
Uh, you can also get it grilled. Um, you have so many options out there. You really have to pay attention and make sure that you're getting what you like or going to eat. Best buy date on this is, that would be August of 2024. Now, <clears throat> I have one little last thing that I want to cover. And that is these little pouches that they came out with. All right, these are a single serving pouch. Very good, very compact, very easy, great for hikers, anything. You're going hiking in the woods, you're going camping, anything like this, this is one serving per pouch. And usually you can get them for less than a buck a pouch. Most of the time right around a dollar. Sometimes some people run them on sale, okay? But some of these are just incredibly long Best Buy date. Now this one here is just a classic barbecue. Now they do have all types of flavors. They have all different ones. They have the original, they have uh, they have the barbecue, they have a pulled, I think it's a pulled pork flavor. Um, I, I don't know, they have just everything, okay? But the point of this is, is this is good until July of 2025. And this is in a pouch, not a can. So this may be something you might want to check into. You know, they take up little to no room. Just something to think about. So I wanted to get back to basics on this video here today. I wanted to make sure that everybody, if your New Year's resolution was, and you watched my video that I put out on New Year's Day, and you want to try to make sure that you're prepping and you want to put a great effort in to beginning off this year and starting your emergency supply that we went back to basics, give you a little bit of ideas of what to do, what not to do, and how to do it. And ways to make sure that you save money, okay? Because the last thing you want to do is buy something and waste your money. So, I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I'd like to thank you for watching my video. Thank you for all you do for my channel. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, click the little bell, and until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.